back to my channel. Today we are going to do a makeup look inspired by this lipstick. This is red, this is great. This lipstick is AOA Studio Liquid Lipstick in 2035 Obsessed. My face is oily right now because I prepped my skin using these products right here. And the first thing we will be using is Maybelline Fit Me Doing In Smooth foundation. I haven't used this foundation in a while. It's been a while, girlfriend. Because I've always been using my It Cosmetics one, but now I'm going to use this one because we need to have some, some variety up in here. This looks a little light for my skin because my face is tanned for some reason. Like this part of my body isn't, so I think it matches my body, but I'm not really sure. I literally woke up at like 5 p.m. today because I was so tired editing a video and doing all a lot of stuff since 5 a.m. I should go to sleep early today but I needed to film these videos so maybe not today. I'm going to blend it out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge that I'm surprised is still whooping its life because I've used this for a long time already. I love this foundation because it's so light and airy but it has really good coverage. Just like the It Cosmetics. I think I have a theme. So now that the foundation is done, we're going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because what else? And I have like a little pimple that I popped there. And we have to put it on our eyelids to prime them and to cover the dark circles that we have from sleeping, like Sleeping Beauty all day, you know? I'm actually almost done with this concealer. It's like all the way like down here, like where my finger is, like all the way down there. And I'm not really looking forward to buying a new one. I'll let you know when I buy a new one though because it will be a nice moment. So now that that's done, we are going to set our face with the, our two favoriteest powders in the whole entire world. And it is the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Powder for our under eyes and the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. First, we are going to take the Bare Minerals one and swirl it underneath our eyes. We are going to take the matte side that has little dots in it now because I've been using it for a while and it's kind of creepy because I don't like seeing dots all together like that. I'll continue using it even though it gives me the heebie-jeebies. I should like things that brighten up my under eye, but we don't have that over here. So we're just going to deal with these powders right now. What a pimple there. No one told me. It looks bright and early. It came out bright and early this evening because it's night time. And I didn't see that before. Like, where'd you come from? <laughs> I don't want you there. I'm using a little mirror here for you to actually have like a direct focus on me because I usually look at a mirror that's down underneath the camera and I don't think that's a good angle and I think this angle is a bit better. I do only have one hand now but it's okay. So now we're taking the hourglass powder, swirling our big brush in it. I still think this powder makes my skin a little bit darker but I'm not really sure so we're just gonna blend it all the way down here girl. All the way down here. Now taking another product that I haven't used forever. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. I think I filmed with it a couple weeks ago but I'm not really sure but we're going to try our best and not overdraw our eyebrows because I already have eyebrows as you can see. Put a little bit of product on the angle brush so that we don't go overboard. Fill in the little sparse areas, you know? Here's your motivation of the day. Go outside and run. <laughs> So my sister is mad at me because I kicked her out of my room, finally, because she was not leaving. It's at work or something, but like today, I just wanted to film a video like right now at 9.30pm at night, and she was not leaving. So now that the eyebrows are done, we are going to move on to eye shadow girlfriend. So now that we're done with the eyeshadow, I really wanted to see how my nose contour would look. So I'm going to use this eyeshadow right here from the Naked 2 palette. To pat off the excess and lightly give my nose some definition. Because girl, it needs it up to the eyebrow. Kind of looks horrendous. So I'm going to pat it with my beauty blender that I had with some foundation. Hopefully blend it out because my nose looks disastrous right now. It's either my nose is red or everything just went down to shambles. Hopefully it goes down with the redness because I think it's red but I don't know if it's red like. Okay let's fix it with some translucent powder because I think I ruined my nose. 
We're going to take the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder, place it on the sides of our nose. I want this makeup look to look decent. So we're going to keep that on the sides of our nose and look funny for a while. The main palette I actually wanted to use is the Lorac Pro Mega 3. The Lorac Pro Mega Palettes are limited edition, but they always come back during the holiday seasons and throughout the year, so I don't really think it's limited edition. It's like semi-limited edition. So these are the colors, and I love this palette, but I don't really take it out that often. I'm going to take off the powder that we placed on our nose because I feel silly. I think that fixed it a bit. I'm not sure. So we're going to take the color crepe to set our eyes all over our eyes just so that our eyeshadows don't skip or anything. We already know the deal because we want seamless eyeshadow and stuff like that. I want to gradually build up the crease so first I'm going to take the color toffee and put it all over my crease just so my crease could be a little bit defined but we'll go in it with a darker color in the crease afterwards. I'm also taking this color down on my lower lash line because I know I'm going to need it down there so I might as well just do it now rather than later since I'm already using the brush. Next we're going to take a denser brush and dip into the color maple just so that our crease could look perfect. So for this makeup look I wanted to use the color pomegranate but I think it's a little too pinkish and I don't have any red eyeshadows in my collection. It's in my sister's collection but I really don't want to use that today. I just want to use my makeup collection. So I'm going to go for a rusty look on the eyes to match the lips because the pomegranate color did not match the lips at all. As you can see this is the pomegranate color. I did a few swatches and I feel like it just doesn't go well with the lipstick that's right up here. So the rust color I think is our best option and using the rust color I'm using it on a flat brush. We're going to take it only on the outer corner of the eye. We're just going to do a normal. Did you guys see that? I got rust on my cheek. How am I supposed to take that? Oh, so I'm going to start off by putting the crepe color back on my lids and mixing it with the toffee color just so that we could have a good opaque inner third. So in order to keep a seamless transition between the lid color and the outer corner color, I'm going to take a little bit of the color cider, which is kind of a goldy color, just to create a gradient for the eyeshadow. I made a whole list of new videos to film that I'm so excited to film them guys. I'm going to start filming on Monday since nobody's going to be at home. I love how these two colors blend together. I'm very excited about it. Editing Leslie, bring it close to my eyeballs. And finally we're going to bring the rust color back to our lower lash line and I'm going to take it on an angled brush and then we're going to blend it out. I'm going to try to put it on my waterline as well. So since I have this highlighter and I want to use it up, I'm going to take it on a brush and highlight my brow bone. I realize that it's way too dark for me for my cheek so I keep it on the brow bone. And if I didn't say it before, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And guys, you wouldn't believe it. We're going to use the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner. You're gonna see Speedy Leslie because I literally can't really talk while I'm doing this. So let it start now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we did it! Oh yes, hopefully it looks nice. I think this one is way too more, like, out. And from my Z palette, I have this highlighter right here. Is it an Urban Decay highlighter? I don't know what color it is, but I'm going to mix it with this color right here. So I could do the center face of my highlight. Wow, look at that! We're done with our eye look! And the only thing we have to do is put on mascara and we're going to be using the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara like always. And we're going to use the star of the show right now. And this lipstick is literally the hardest lipstick to take off. So yes guys, this is the end product of my makeup look. If you like it, give it a like. You know, the deal. Give it a thousand likes. Comment down below anything you want to tell me. Subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see my ugly face again. And I'll see you guys in my next video.